Gotta love a squealy belt. Gotta love it. Got that engine done, got it out here. The truck's on the road the last day or so. Driver says it's great. So, time to get back to painting, guys. Got the etch primer on. Don't tell me it's too thick. Guys, in the last comment section of the last paint video I posted, which was like five years ago, telling me, can you ever do etch primer before it's too thick and got put on things? Haven't you ever done this before? No! The sealer is on. It's time for some base. Maybe Matt Rich was, was right when he said, stop playing with this kid. You're high. Just because I sound dumb in my videos, you'd be surprised when you meet me in person about... Now, when I was making this video, I was doing like, this is the etch primer, this is the sealer. Then I said, now it's time for base. Um, I forgot to video any of anything after that. Um, I, I don't know what happens sometimes with my memory. Uh, I literally went home to edit this video and I was like, why is there no clip of the base or the clear? I have no answer for that. Other than I did get it based and clear. And then yesterday I had Zach go ahead and install these lights in the bottom while I was prepping the top. So, Let's go show off the top a little bit. Gotta get on my lift again. Oh, I didn't get off this till late last night. I actually haven't even uh, looked at this top rail to see if it cured out nice or not. So we're gonna find out together here, guys. Here we go. Look at the runs. Now we're gonna go all the way down through and make sure I didn't make um, a bunch of runs and drapes. to kick into high gear guys so where i'm at right now in the trailer is the uh, wiring is all ran for the lights underneath the wiring is all hooked up and ran for the lights going down the rails top and bottom um everything seems to be doing go, doing going fairly smooth uh undercarriage is pretty much done for the most part i got a couple little things that i got to add a couple beauty panels and stuff um it's going, it's going along according to plan. I still got to get this box finished being cleaned up. We started sanding out some of the flat spots the other day, and I still got to get rid of um, the chipping uh, powder coat. A lot of people ask me how I'm going to do that. Uh, basically, we're going to try and sandblast the edges. It is aluminum, so it could warp if I go out to the center of the panels and heat it up and then the box is junk. So I'm gonna sandblast the edges and try and taper out as much as I can. And probably use a little bit of um, filler for the hard edges. Otherwise you'll end up sanding and making all kinds of divots and stuff. So we're gonna try and clean that up best we can because we're salvaging a box from another show trailer that we built 12 years ago. I don't know, long time ago, before I was videoing things. Um, then engine wise, uh justin has been driving the truck i believe for almost a week now no problems everything's going good uh i'll address some of the questions now so uh i i don't know what i was rambling about in the previous video about the engine i i could be wrong on this i'm not an engine builder but Hey, it might just be the air compressor, Dad. <laughs> it's never been the air compressor for us yet. Sinking suspicion that it was a liner, which it was. It was number six. Um, I already showed you in the beginning of the video, there's a hairline crack across the top, which is dumb because now looking at this, it's very easy for me to pick it out and point it out and show you guys. But that wasn't even what I saw. I saw the little crack on the inside, which is like, 
dang near impossible to see. And then we found the crack across the top. So it was a crack liner. We, uh, we pulled the liner, obviously. Everything seems to be doing good. We're happy with it. Cleaned up his engine a little bit, his engine bay. Uh, painted his valve covers. Did a couple little things just to dress it up some. Polish some things out. We, we will have to do quite a bit more work if we're going to open the hood at a shell like we should. Um, so he's going to probably bring it back two weeks before we head to Matt's and drive Boss Hog for one more round. And then he's going to come back and help us the week before we go to Matt's. So I should have that truck, if all goes according to plan, I should have that truck for at least two weeks before the show to go front to back, fixing anything, cleaning anything up, and, you know, doing what we got to do. I mean, it's not... I'll say it again. This is a work truck. We we are not, like, going to repaint everything. There's corrosion on the bottom of the bunk like every... 10 year old Peterbilt has even newer um, around the doors a little bit. I don't have time to fix any of that, sadly, but what we can fix and what we can touch up, we're gonna. So the truck does look presentable, um, but I'm really hoping this trailer is a little bit of, um, it'll draw your attention from the truck, hopefully, which usually is never the case. I mean, we're here to see the trucks, not the trailers, but if you're like me, I, I enjoy seeing them both. I, I love seeing what guys do with reefer trailers and stuff like that because you can only do so much to a trailer before it's uh like completely impractical so that's the whole thing is keeping it practical so it's fine going down the road